Okay, so this is the video um, for yesterday, which was the 15th. Um, uh, with a bit of today in. Um, so, yesterday, what happened yesterday? Yesterday was pretty average. Same old thing of just trying to do exercises, feeling dopey. Thanks. Um, and in the evening, um, basically I had to have my dressings changed on my blisters. Um, so mum did that and it was really, really painful. Um, stinging like mad and they hadn't they haven't healed um, which is annoying because we thought they were going to um, I was in a fair amount of pain while I was standing up yesterday as well um, which I've been having but hoped it was kind of going to go away and then um, we think the bliss we thought the blisters had caused the swelling in my leg and the swelling's still there so whenever I get up it just kind of blood rushes to the swelling and it hurts a fair amount so that's kind of expected um, and then um, I've had a good night's sleep to be fair so um, lots of lots of sleep was, was what I really needed as well um, so that's good that's all positive stuff um, getting the dressings changed getting them cleaned and then today um, mum woke me up in the morning and said that she might ring me to get me to come into the hospital to go to the burns unit um, and see the plastic surgeon so that he could take a look at the blisters on my leg and, and kind of start to discover what what we can do about it um, because obviously we need these blisters to go for next Wednesday um, so she ended up getting an appointment with the plastic surgeon um, and I went in <clears throat> one of our neighbours um, and close family friend um, Sarah drove me over to the hospital so I could um, so mum met me outside the hospital and we went to the burns unit and within I don't know five minutes we were being seen and they turned me over started taking the dressings off and within a minute the consultant came in looked at them and said you're not getting this operation on Wednesday done. Um, so it turns out that we've, while I was going through the like excruciating pain of, of the nerve injury, and I was icing and icing and icing, basically it it, it burnt my leg, the back of my leg, and has has. has done some pretty severe damage to the to the skin some of it's pretty superficial and will heal but some of it is deeper and they said that some of it looks almost full depth which is pretty severe that's like that's a proper burn like proper burning and they said I might need surgery which would be a skin graft um, Yeah, I wasn't expecting to hear that at all. Um, I don't think Mum was ex well. I think Mum was expecting to hear it, but didn't tell me. Um, again, um, but really unexpected, and another knockback which 
sucks. Um, and I'm now on two lots of antibiotics for infection, just to try and fight off infection. Uh, they cleaned up the wounds, put their dressings on it, and I've got to go back in on Monday. Um, hmm. There's not really much I can say about that apart from really sucks. Uh, I was really ready for this op on Wednesday. Um, as like the marker for things to start getting better but it's not going my way at the moment I'm not getting much luck so um, trying to look at it positively in that like things can't get that much worse from here um, so um, hopefully from now on it's it's kind of improvement in that they can either get the blisters to heal or we get scheduling for a surgery so we can get it sorted as quick as possible um, and then we can also schedule in the nerve op once the skin graft is, is scheduled in but this has put back the skin, the nerve op a fair few weeks. So, although it might not affect the overall recovery time, it could definitely affect how how comfortable I am, because the nerve op was going to improve my pain a lot, um, because it was going to take pressure off the nerve, and then they were going to be able to kind of do what they needed to do to make sure that the nerve was fixing itself properly, and that would have taken some of the pain away that's not happened and it's not going to happen for a while so um, a pretty big hit but um, I think I'm on too many drugs at the moment to be too upset about it um, you know it's not what I wanted to hear and I was upset and I am upset but um, I, yeah, it's just not, I don't think it's hit me because of the drugs mainly. Um, yeah, Jess, could you go and run punch Um, yeah, really, really shitty. Um, and then after that, I came back and my mate Tom came to visit, which was nice. It was just what I needed take my mind off things, just have a chill out with him, a catch up, um, just a chat and then he went when I had physio so I got back from physio at about 4.30, 5ish, um, I can't really do much in physio at the moment because the blisters so she can't massage my leg, um, so she, we just did some foot stuff, range of foot, r range of motion with my foot making sure that I'm keeping my ankle moving um, and just making sure that I'm doing everything I can to try and get better um, and actually my knee flexion has gotten really good I'm at like 70 degrees and I needed to be at 90 for at 12 weeks and it's four and a half weeks now and if I'm already at 70 I'll be at 90 for 12 weeks easy um, but what's more annoying is that you can work as hard as you like on the thing that on one thing and then you can't do anything about the the like most significant thing which is my like my knee the skin around my knee and the nerve I can't do anything about that I can work hard on like my exercises and my movement but I can't do anything about the nerve so yeah, a bit of an op today. Um, but these drugs are really good at keeping me kind of steady. So, um, yeah, I might do a vlog tomorrow because I haven't got much going on. 
Um, but I haven't decided yet. Again, it might just be a weekend, a weekend vlog on Monday. Um, but I've got to go in for a Burns appointment on Monday anyway. Um, yeah. So. Bit of a knock, but we'll see what happens.